welcome back to another video, another backyard makeover video. If you missed video number one, I will link it above. I will also link it down below in the backyard makeover playlist. So if you're interested in watching from the beginning, backstory, we live in a small house. We have a small deck on the back. It's too small. We decided to rip it out and put a large patio so that we can enjoy the outdoors more with our growing family. So in video one, we did rip it out. We ripped out all the landscaping. And in this video, hopefully we are going to actually be putting the concrete down. There's a lot of other things that need to be done before the concrete can be laid. So that's what we're working on now. Marion and Jackson are outside trying hopefully to dig up the old stump, not stumps, what are they called? Where the, where the deck was concreted into the ground. He's trying to pull those up. Not sure if it's gonna work. We'll see, he and Jackson are out there with sledgehammers just trying to break it apart. Hopefully, hopefully that can be done and if not, we'll go with plan B, but it's also almost 90 degrees today or going to be and very humid. So we're gonna have to take lots of breaks, water breaks, all that, and you know, do it as we can, but it's also cloudy. So that helps the sun is not so brutal today. So I'm gonna take you outside and let you see what's going on. Also the fur babies know that we're out there and they wanna go out so bad, but it's not safe right now. So y'all have to stay in, okay? You can't go outside when it's not safe. We'll let you out in a little while. So this isn't going to work. I don't have the tools to get them out. So what we're going to have to do. It was a valiant effort. <laughs> yeah, what we're going to have to do is seal this up to try and prevent rot for as long as possible. So in video one, I was saying that we need to get a wheelbarrow so that we can get all this stuff out of here. But one of you subscribers or one of you viewers said, you don't need a wheelbarrow. You just need a tarp. So <laughs> that's what we're going to use for now. We always have tarps. So, um. Oh, the neighbor's dog is out, and here we go. We're gonna start barking. That's what we do all the time. Is that your is that your buddy? Y'all saying hey to each other? <laughs> Anyways, um, I think we'll use the tarp. Put all the stuff up. You know, all this has to be gotten gotten up so that we can prepare the ground for the cement. So. We'll just then drag this out to our pile. We have a pile out here where we all have always put all the extra landscaping trash. using one of the old deck pieces he cut it to 13 feet so that's how far out the patio is going to be from the house so that way he can get a straight edge to get an idea of where to put the stakes we did put the three stakes here but he wants to make sure that they're as level and straight as possible
Oh, look toad. at that. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna put him in the That's so weird. We haven't found frogs around here. So he's recycling deck boards, cutting off the edges that he had left to try and reuse these boards to make the framing because that way we don't have to buy new new boards just for the framing because they are not cheap. And I'm just standing inside with the dogs who <laughs> want to go out so bad just uh, so I don't get hit by debris. But and it's a little more work, but it'll save a lot of money. We finished for today we did get the one piece of wood and that was a major ordeal but Marion is gonna frame the entire patio and then he'll use some string to like see how level it is and then we'll be ready to do the dry pour so this is what it looks like after this night it's a couple hours later we stopped and showered and ate some dinner but we went ahead and dug the trench for this and filled it in and it looks great and it's so cool because now I can actually kind of see you know where the patio is going to be and it's going to be huge so <laughs> I'm very excited about that all right it's the next day another day we're supposed to have bad storms today but they've all passed us by so it's super windy but I think that um, the storms are going to stay away hopefully and so Marion just got back from he worked all day and then he went and worked out and now he's going to come out here and do a little bit. I think he's going to try and dig the trench for the next. He needs, actually, he's out there looking through the wood pile now. He may have to go buy, I don't know, a piece of wood. He's going to try and continue working on the framing. But it's crazy windy out here, so it's going to be loud probably on camera. So Marion's using this string he got um, to kind of see how level the ground is. Basically the concrete is self-leveling, so that's good. But this like, he said something about going across, it'll, you'll know. Yeah. From that side to this side. How much the difference is? Yeah, so that way this board yeah, he'll know how deep to put this one yeah. in because the one over there we put it in three inches, I think so and He had to nail screw these two together to make it 13 feet because we only had one board that was that long left over from the deck That's a fancy little level that is a line level a line level. So see okay. this is So this board has to come up so I don't actually have to bury this one at this end Oh, good. That means that's a lot more concrete. <laughs> I know. I told you that. Did I not tell you that? That you were going to probably need to fill this in with dirt? 
if we use dirt to fill it in our neighbor just so happened to dig a bunch of dirt up out of his yard or somewhere so we might see if we can have that if he doesn't want it <laughs> so this side the other side we had to put in the dirt three inches this side isn't even going to go in the dirt at all we're going to have to actually add dirt which is what i was saying that this side was way higher or way lower but we don't have to dig a trench over here so that's awesome my friends it is actually four days later it is saturday last picked up my camera and talked to you on tuesday i think no monday no monday so it's five days later um it has been a crazy week we've had a lot going on with our family it was lana's birthday took a few days and enjoyed that um also the weather also the air quality around here is horrendous <laughs> so mary's asthma has been acting up and he is not able to come out and work like you know he wants to so um in fact last night he was really bad it was really bad we went to watch fireworks and had to walk up a lot of stairs a lot of walking a lot of carrying chairs and he was really having a hard time so of course that is priority like if he can't be outside because of the air quality it's from the canadian fires um then this has to wait so but to make a very, very long story short, we came, we just were facing so many obstacles. We found out that there's like a porch underneath this, this addition on the house. So there's like a part of it sticking out. So we can't dig the ground down over here to put the concrete over here. Marion was worried about adding dirt. He was afraid that he was thinking he's going to have to put in a retaining wall if it's too, because over here it'd be like six inches of concrete and over here three. And we just didn't want to do that. So basically, to make a long story short, I said, why don't you talk to our neighbor, he's a contractor, just ask him to come give you his personal, his professional opinion. Um, do we need to raise this side? Do we need to lower this side? Like, just have him look at it, just because usually he can look at it, just tell us. So he came over and um, then we started asking him, uh, he does concrete and we said, we were just thinking if we were going to have to rent a machine, it was going to be almost $400 for one day. It was like $370 for one day to dig this side of the ground up. And I was like, if we're spending money to rent equipment and money to, you know, obviously for rebar and concrete and it's comparable to the price of having a company come in and put the concrete down and just do it all in a few hours. Should we just do that? So he came over and looked at everything and then he gave us a quote last night and we just decided to go with that. So our original plan obviously was to do this ourselves, but when we just kind of, with the ground being so unlevel, with the air quality being terrible and Mary can only work outside in little amounts of time, with the few obstacles we've come up against, the foundation over here, um, the unlevel, we just decided to go with it because it's actually, I think it's only a couple hundred dollars more than what we would have spent. I'm gonna try and put on the, maybe in the description box or maybe on the screen somewhere, or maybe I'll let you know at the end, like the price it would have cost for us to do it and then the price for him to do it. Because I don't think it's, I mean, it's its worth a few extra hundred dollars, you know, to have him do it. And I think they can do it in one day. So he's, we're waiting today for him to tell us what day they're going to be able to do it. He did mention possibly next weekend, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But while I'm waiting, because it's like a whole week away, um, there are some things that I can do. So I'm going to turn you around. Well, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to show you some things that I'm going to be doing today. So the house where we took the deck off, obviously like parts of it need to be painted um this was where we painted we actually painted this gray like in 2012 a long time ago and then this was the color before so i'm gonna power wash i'm gonna move the stairs and power wash this really good because i'm gonna be painting all of it what i'm just gonna do is paint the back side of the house i'm gonna try to color match this paint as best i can but we do plan to repaint our whole house but not this summer maybe next summer maybe this fall i don't know but uh, marion and i painted it this color and it's been a while so uh i'm gonna go ahead and just get a can of this paint just just for now so that i can color match it to the rest of the house so it'll look a whole lot better so i'm gonna power wash and paint also we're gonna buy like a piece of wood just like a one by four and put it along here because this part of the house the siding is 
kind of rotted away and messed up so I'm gonna put that wood on and then caulk it real good before I paint it but today the only thing I can do is power wash because everything is gonna be completely muddy and wet and it's also supposed to storm big surprise so I want to get this done before um, all of that and then I'll go out and buy the paint and all that and then possibly tomorrow I will paint but they're also calling for more storms tomorrow so <laughs> this weather is just not cooperating so we have to do having to do it in little bits but this is the patio I was telling you about that's sticking out so if we were to lower the ground over here we can't lower it anymore because there's a patio so that was one of the obstacles but hiring someone is probably just gonna take away all the headache they know what they're doing they have the equipment they can do it in a day they have a whole crew so we're going to go with that option but i did want to let you know that that isn't all we're going to do after the patio is in there's another big project we're going to do so that will be we were going to have to wait 30 days for the concrete to cure after we did the dry pour but since we're having the wet pour concrete we don't have to wait 30 days so that project will come up as soon as the the patio is in and we have time and the weather's good we'll be moving on to the next big project also my hostas they're not looking so great the sun is is not not nice to them i'm going to water these really good today too because it has actually been a couple days since we had a good rain so they're going to get a nice big drink of water a lot better than it did I was using the wrong nozzle we had a marked wrong so this one was shouldn't have used that like should have one done the one that spread out more so it tore the paint off which is totally fine we're gonna repaint it but it did take it down to the brick right there so I'm gonna probably get when it's all dry get some sandpaper like a sandpaper block and just try to get all some of off some of the pieces of paint that were coming up like that all right we're back from Lowe's we did pick up a few things um, this I color matched my paint the best we could the lady at Lowe's helped me choose the one that we thought was pretty much the closest it's called wet cement I think wet pavement and I told her I just wanted the cheapest exterior because um, this is just a temporary coat you know 
temporary um what does it say must be tinted temporary paint to go we're going to be eventually repainting the whole house and i want to paint a different color so i didn't want to i mean this was still like 43 dollars. can you believe like 43 dollars for one and the good stuff is over 75 dollars for one gallon insane um and then we got another one of these we have one it's i wanted it to be exterior and paintable so this was like six dollars almost at walmart i'm gonna caulk the edges we have one and then i bought this one caulk the edges of the wood we did get the wood marion's outside right now putting those up so i'll take you out there and show you that uh so we just got these one by fours three of these is almost exactly the length of the house that we need so we'll just he's gonna screw those in all prepped I'm gonna let the caulk dry probably overnight and tomorrow I will paint all right it's the next day it is so hot it's uh, earlier in the morning trying to get this done before it gets too hot but everything is dry and we're ready to paint
Okay, that was an absolute chore. <laughs> it is so dang hot out there and it's only gonna get hotter today. So we wanted to get it done before it gets too hot, but thank God for air conditioning. And Marion, thank God for Marion, he saved the day. He came in and did the very, all along the top edge. I didn't have to do that because that was just scaring me being up on that ladder. Um, but we're gonna shower and clean up and then we're gonna actually go pick up something that I bought on Craigslist that was a steal of a deal. I'm so excited, so excited. This is exactly what I was looking for and a fraction of the price. So I'll be showing that in an upcoming video, but I think we, we still haven't heard from our neighbor about what day he's gonna come lay the patio. So today is Sunday, so um, he was had originally said maybe next weekend, so crossing our fingers. Maybe it's this week, but it's also July 4th week, so I don't know with the holiday, I don't know. So we're just waiting to hear. He's out of town actually this weekend, so hopefully he'll come back in town tonight and maybe send us a text and let us know. So I'll get back on here as soon as there's something to show. Okay guys, it is now Thursday afternoon. So that was Sunday when I last left you. It's about 12.30 and they just got here. They had said they were gonna do it today, but then yesterday they came out and did some like measuring and stuff and they said it might be Friday because they didn't know if they could get the cement truck and I still don't know. They may just be prepping the ground today. I'm not sure, but I'll get a few shots of it. They said that once they lay it, then we can walk on it the next day. So right now, Marion's got some caution tape up. <laughs> You can't really see it. He always goes overboard and puts this huge big X with caution tape and you know because there's no stairs He doesn't want anybody to open the door and fall down. <laughs> also, I can't let my dogs out so So he is using his he's got like the the dirt that I was telling you about that also some like Cement that I think he jackhammered up out of his basement and he's using that to fill in so that's so nice, he's letting us have that so we don't have to pay extra for that. <laughs> down from our tree from our dogwood tree and pull the gate back to fit the big cement truck in It is done for today and it looks amazing it matches matches the house <laughs> this um, this would have been so difficult with just bags of cement for us I'm so 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 glad that we decided to just let them do it because it would have just been oh there goes a spider it would have just been really really difficult doing it with uh, over 200 bags of cement 
So that's it for now. They did like a broom sweep or something over. I forget what it's called. They used a broom, put the little ridges. They're going to come back tomorrow and cut the, um, I forget what they call them, but they put these cuts in them and, you know, it helps it to not crack. And then they'll take the, um, the wood off and then we'll be able to actually step on it tomorrow. So that is the end of this video, but thank you for watching. Sorry, this one took so long to get up, but you know, it just took a while. But make sure that you come back because there's still more to do. We're gonna be working on this probably this weekend. We have to build the stairs. Something else we're gonna build out here that's coming up. We, I'm gonna replant all my plants. We're gonna do some landscaping and some decorating and all that. It's gonna be so fun. It's gonna be so beautiful, but there's my patio. So exciting, so exciting. I have wanted a patio for years and years and years. So thank you for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. These gnats are awful. <laughs> um, I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.